So today we're going to take a look at the valid parentheses challenge. Now this challenge is asking us to test whether or not a string of parentheses uh, is uh, valid in the aspect that uh, each open parentheses has a corresponding close parentheses um, and vice versa. Uh, if for any reason the parentheses don't pair up um, nicely, then the method will return false. Um, and if the method uh, parameter is an empty string, then it will return this is an empty string as a warning. So if we take a look at the method, um, the method first tests for the validity of the length of the string. Um, and it does this first by as, uh, ascertaining whether or not the uh, string is empty or not. Um, if the string is empty, it will return this is an empty string. Uh, then it tests whether or not the string is odd. If the string length is odd, that means that one of the parentheses does not have a, a paired partner, and it will return false. Then it tests whether or not the first character of the string is a closing parentheses. Um, if the closing parentheses is the first character, it also returns false. Uh, after it does these free, uh, first three pre, uh, preliminary checks, it then uh, runs the validate pairs method. Now the validate pairs uh, is again testing for uh, partner parentheses or it is the test for partner parentheses. And what it does to test this is it builds a stack um, of open parentheses. So it, it will iterate over each character in the string. And if it uh, encounters an open parentheses, it adds an open parentheses to the stack. If, while going through the iterations, it encounters a closed parentheses, then it, instead of adding to the stack, it will remove a parentheses from the open stack. If at any time uh, the method encounters a closed parentheses and the open parentheses stack is empty, uh, it will return false. Um, should the method reach the end of the string uh, and the very last character is a closed parentheses, which it would have to be, uh, and it removes an item from the open parentheses stack, then the overall string is valid. So uh, it will then return true. So let's go ahead and test this method or these methods uh, quickly uh, by using the built-in test method. Uh, and this just runs through various uh, principles of the methods uh, to test for edge cases or anything uh, that might come up. So the first test again tests that empty string. The second test tests for one or the length one. Um, again, which means that the length would be odd and the string would be invalid. Uh, then tests for a single pair of paired parentheses. Uh, then tests the first character to see whether or not, or tests the first character as a closed parenthesis. And again, it returns false here. And then it creates a set of nested parentheses so that the stack can be built and, built and removed from uh, in the appropriate manners. So let's go ahead and test that method real fast. And I just do that by running Ruby on the valid parentheses uh, file. And as you can see, it returns as it should. This is an empty string, is the first return, then false, then true, then false, then true. Okay, so that is the built-in test. Uh, now we need to actually test the methods that the challenge uh, asks us to test for. So I've built out the RSpec file, and I'm testing whether or not valid parentheses is working correctly. And the first thing it does is it tests if it handles the pair parentheses correctly. Um, and it should return true. Then it tests whether or not uh, it handles the closing uh, parentheses as the first character uh, correctly. Um, and it should return false uh, if that first character is in closed parentheses. Uh, then it tests whether or not it correctly handles an input of length 1 or an odd input and it should return false here. Uh, 
Then it tests whether or not it correctly handles nested paired parentheses, so the long, longer uh, nested parentheses string here. And then finally it tests the empty string. Um, and it should return this is an empty string uh, in this test. So let's go ahead and test that real fast. And we do so by running bundle exec rspec. And as you can see, it tests each of those methods. Each of them return true, or they pass as green. And that's it. If there are any questions, please post them in the forum, and I'll answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.